Hello everyone. In this video, I will show how you can perform data entry using a form dialog directly into a spreadsheet. You can also provide for multiple forms to do data entry in multiple sheets. Here, you can see I have two menu buttons to open respective forms, the profile form and the expense form. Let's try the profile form first. The dropdowns used in this form are populated using spreadsheet data itself. Let's fill out the entire form. Now, when you click the Submit button, it will create a new record in the sheet as specified in the form. If the corresponding sheet doesn't exist, then it will insert a new sheet and also add header fields. Let's hit the Submit button. As you can see, it has inserted a new sheet and added the header fields as well. Let's make one more entry. And it's working fine. Let's try another form. And everything works as expected. Now, the most important part is how you set this up for yourself. First of all, make a copy of this spreadsheet. You will find the link in the description below. Once opened, you will see a custom menu named Data Entry that you can easily change in the code. Clicking this will show you the menu items for corresponding forms. Click it to open the form. When you click it for the first time, it will ask you to authorize the code. Go ahead and grant all the required permissions. Then, if required, click the button again. Now, let's do a quick entry. And it's working as expected. Moving on, how do you customize it to suit your requirements? For this, you need to open the script editor by going to Extensions and then clicking on App Script. This will open the script editor in the next tab. Now, I am thinking of explaining the code by adding a new working form so that it will give you more confidence in customizing the form. Go to the code.gs file. This block of code is responsible for creating the custom menu named Data Entry and also adding menu items underneath it. Let me change this to Forms. This line is for adding menu items. Let's add another menu item called Sales Form and link it to a function named Show Sales Form, which we will write shortly. These blocks are responsible for constructing form dialogs. It takes an HTML file name to construct an HTML page and sets its width and height properties. We will duplicate and modify this block to show our sales form. We still need to create an HTML file for the sales form, which we will do later. 
This code defines a function named add row that takes two parameters, data and sheet name. The data parameter is expected to be a JSON string. First, it parses the data string into a JavaScript object using JSON.parse. Then, it retrieves the active spreadsheet. Next, it attempts to get a sheet with the name specified by the sheet name parameter. If the sheet doesn't exist, it creates a new one with that name. The function then checks if the first cell in the sheet is empty. If it is, it assumes that the sheet is empty and prepares to append headers. It maps over the entries in the data array, transforming the first element of each entry, presumably column headers, by capitalizing the first letter of each word and adding spaces before uppercase letters. It then appends these headers as a row to the sheet. After handling headers, the function appends a new row to the sheet. It maps over each entry in the data array again. If the second element of an entry is an array, it joins the array elements into a comma-separated string. If the second element is a string and can be parsed as a date, it converts it into a date object. Otherwise, it appends the original value. Finally, the function returns true to indicate that the row addition was successful. This function fetches drop-down menu options from a Google Sheets document. It retrieves the active spreadsheet, locates the specified sheet, and then collects drop-down options for each header. It returns an object where each header corresponds to an array of drop-down options. Both of these functions will be called from the client-side HTML form, which you will see shortly. Now, let's create our sales form. I will duplicate this expense form and modify it. I will replace these form elements with new ones, like date, product, and customer. Here you can see, for the product dropdown, I am using this product's array, and its name should exactly match with header in the dropdown sheet. Let me show that to you. And if you see our profile form, you will notice that I have used multiple select. You can do so by adding multiple attribute inside the select element. If you're wondering where I'm getting these code snippets to render form elements, I'm using Element UI. Here, you can see the documentation for forms. I will post its link in the description below. You can quickly see the code associated with different types of form controls, copy-paste it, and do a little modification, and you'll be good to go. Below, you'll need to edit this form object and that should also match with vModel for the corresponding form element. Here, you can specify mandatory fields. Also, change this record sheet name to sales. Here, I'm calling it dropdown data inside a mounted hook. The get dropdown method is defined below. This will fetch dropdown data from the spreadsheet when the form is loaded. We use google.script.run to call app script functions from the client side. And this on submit method is responsible for handling the submit action. Here, you can see this on submit method is hooked to this submit button. It first checks if all the required fields are filled and then calls the add row method defined in code.js file. So that's it. Now hit the save button. Let's test it. Here, you can see the menu item to open the sales form. Let's open it and do a quick test. and you can see it is working as expected. Feel free to copy the spreadsheet from the link given in the description. 
If you like the video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.